Hi, Tom Walls, Carbide Processors. Want to talk about cobalt exposure? The mo there's a there's a thing called a nickel allergy, and it we had uh, 35 years, and I don't know how many employees we've had one employee with nickel allergy. So it, it's not at all common, but it does happen. And when you, you get a rash, and with her we tried gloves. We liked her, a good employee. We tried gloves, we tried barrier cream, whatever it was. She just couldn't have anything to do with tungsten carbide uh, because she had a cobalt allergy, which was similar to a nickel allergy. Cobalt and, and nickel are, depending how fussy you are, similar chemically. Anyway, used to be we'd have to do a titration, and that's you'd make up, you take the solution you wanted to test, and you'd make up another solution and mix them, and then you'd, you'd very, very slowly drip in drip in drops of the third solution with the color changer and when, when it changed color then you knew you'd reached a certain point and then you did some math and some of us get bored and we kind of open it up a little more and a little more and then all of a sudden it changed and titration is 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 very it's very good it can be very precise um, this is much much better these are cobalt Cobalt test strips from QuantoFix. Used to be, used to have cobalt test strips. They had to be refrigerated. They have a relatively short shelf life and whatnot. The QuantoFix test strips come like this. They have, they have a, a gauge, a chart, whatever on the side. And what you do is you, you take the test strip, like so. Let's start with, with water. All right, this is just tap water here. You dip it in. You can see it's, it's still white. No color change at all. Now we'll try the big one, lunchroom coffee. God knows what's in lunchroom coffee. Test strip. Lunchroom coffee. Dip it in. There's a little, little brown, as you can see, just the light tan but no blue. Okay, this is a cobalt solution I mixed up, which is cobaltus ammonia sulfate, aqueous solution, aqueous solution, whatever you like. Anyway, a lot of cobalt in it, which is the whole point. So you take this strip in it. If you can see, there's a little... Uh, yeah, there's a little pad. Maybe you can see there on the end. You dip it in, like so, and pull it out, and it's blue, okay? You compare that blue to the blue on the side, and it looks like it's pretty much about where the bottom one is. You read the chart, which is 1,000 thousand milligrams per liter, okay? Which is which is probably high for worker safety and health. It's probably not very high for an awful lot of machine shops. Once again, Quantifix. We sell a tube of these with, I don't know, a bunch of strips for 75 bucks. These, these things are just great. They're, they're I don't know unless you read the wrong, unless you read it backwards or something. They're extremely easy to read. They give you a ballpark. 25, 50, 100, 250, 500, and 1,000 milligrams per liter of cobalt. Okay? Instructions on the side. But anyway, they're, they're, they're really easy to read. They last forever. We'll send you a few free with a chart. Uh, there's just no reason to be exposed to cobalt and treating the best thing to do we think is to filter the coolant if you filter the coolant you get the cobalt particles out we make little filter systems um, a company called Transor T-R-A-N-S-O-R makes big filter systems ours go up to $2,500 there's the last I heard start at 15000 
Theirs leaves it gin clear. Uh, theirs do things ours don't because they're what? Six times, ten times, twenty times more expensive. If you're, I don't know, Boeing, Honda, Detroit Diesel, they're still around. Alice and somebody. If you're a big manufacturing company or a little shop, you really ought to be monitoring your cobalt. And as I say, we'll give you this free. You can look at our filter systems online. You can buy one. I give you the big secret on how we build our filter systems, and that's the Granger catalog. If I'm going to design something, I'm going to design it so it's really, really robust. Hell for stout, as my Norwegian ancestor said, easy to repair. So I guess that's it. If you want some of these free cobalt test strips, we'll send you some. And that's it. Have a good day and stay safe. Thank you.